Let's go ahead and get started. And we're gonna get started standing. Um, so let's come up to the top of our mat. Feet are gonna be about hip distance apart. Arms are gonna be down by our side. We're gonna come into that mountain pose, that Tadasana. So start to maybe soften the eyes. You can begin to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Standing up nice and tall. Palms will face towards the top of the mat. As we start to really step into this space of stillness and beginning to direct our focus, direct our awareness towards the breath. So standing up nice and tall, maybe begin as you inhale to roll those shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, relax them down the back. Maybe following that pattern, that movement a few times, starting to loosen up through those shoulders, beginning to create space in the collarbones. And maybe after doing it a few times, We'll find our way back into stillness, back into that nice long mountain pose. Belly will start to draw in, pelvis will press slightly forward, and refocus your attention towards the breath, taking long inhales through the nose, and long exhales all, all the way out as you feel the belly, the ribs, and the chest start to decompress. beginning to release our thoughts. <sighs> beginning to release any tension that's built up in the body throughout the week. Letting everything go with each exhale. <sighs> we'll be here for just a few more breaths. So really try to draw your awareness inwards Draw your awareness to the breath. Draw the awareness to the belly so we can start to draw the belly in towards the spine. Press that pelvis forward and feel that core start to heat up and engage. So where focus goes, energy flows. So if we're drawing our focus to the breath and to the belly, or to any spot for that matter, or any body part for that matter, your energy will follow or the body will respond. So let's find a few more deep inhales and exhales here. Filling the lungs up with new life, new energy, and exhaling, letting go of any stagnant spaces, any stagnant energy or air. Two more long breath here as we really try to tap into this fluidity of the breath for the rest of our practice. Last inhale and exhale. Now on your next inhalation, we're gonna to start to reach the hands up towards the sky. Palms will touch, gaze will lift. Then as you exhale, we're gonna take a nice soft bend in those knees as we slowly start to fold forward, coming into that really soft Uttanasana. So moving really slowly since we're starting standing. As we've come into that Uttanasana, we can have a nice soft bend here, and we're gonna pause just for a moment. Maybe even grab opposite elbows, let yourself hang. Maybe take that gentle rock side to side. One more breath. Come back to center, release the hands down towards the floor. Inhale, rise up halfway, both legs go straight, half fold flat back, belly draws in. Exhale as you start to melt forward one more time, bend through those knees, take that nice soft Uttanasana. Then on your next inhale, keep those knees nice and soft. We're going to take a slow roll all the way up, one vertebra at a time. Head will be the last thing to rise as we come all the way up to standing. Once we're there, meet back in that mountain pose. Palms will face towards the top of the mat. Feet are still hip distance apart. On your next inhale, reach the fingers up to the sky. Palms touch, lift your gaze. 
Exhale as we bend through the knees, soft fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale as we rise up halfway, belly draws in, spine is long. Exhale as you melt forward once again, coming back into that Uttanasana. Nice soft bend again. And then as we inhale, keep that bend through the knees, slow roll all the way up, one vertebra at a time. The head's going to be the last thing to rise. So coming all the way back to standing, finding that Tadasana, we're going to find one more half sun salutation. Inhale, reach the arms towards the sky, big breath in. Exhale as you bend the knees, soft fold forward. Inhale as you halfway lift. Exhale as you fold forward once again. This time we're going to hang out here for a little bit of time. So you can take that nice soft bend, maybe grab opposite elbows, find that ragdoll position. Or if you're super open this morning and you want to do this forward fold with straight legs, that's an option as well. We're going to make sure though the chin is tucking in towards the chest the entire time. So we're getting that really deep stretch from our tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. Two more breath here, whatever version you decided to take, whatever's the best for you and your body this morning. Last breath. Big bend through those knees as you inhale, slowly roll it all the way up. One vertebra at a time, head will be the last thing to rise. Once we come back to standing, we're gonna meet in that mountain pose, that Tadasana, arms are down by our side. Big inhale as you reach the arms back up to the sky. This time, palms will touch, interlace the fingers. Pointer fingers are going to point straight up. Now draw your shoulders down away from the ears, so we're creating space for the collarbones. Big breath in as you start to draw the belly and lengthen the spine. Exhale as we start to hinge and fold over towards that right side. So fingertips reaching towards the right. Hips are going to reach towards the left. So a little bit of a side stretch. Keep drawing those shoulders away from the ears and feeling this length from our left wrist towards the left hip. Let's find one more long inhale. Exhale, release. On your next inhalation, rise back to center. Retuck through those hips, draw the belly in, relax the shoulders. And then we'll exhale, take the hands over to the left side of the mat. Send your hips towards the right. One more big, long breath here. And as we inhale, start to rise all the way back to center. Release your grasp of the hands as we bend through those knees, soft forward fold all the way back down. Chest to the thighs, nose to the knees. Maybe take that rag doll. Maybe just kind of rock side to side. Start to warm up through those hips and IT bands. One more breath. Then on your next inhale, rise up halfway. Then as we exhale, we're gonna plant the hands down, step it on back to your high plank. And then we're just gonna pause here, shoulders stack on top of the wrist, press the pelvis forward, draw the belly button in. We're not gonna take a chaturanga just yet, we're just gonna start to heat up through those abdominal muscles. So really pressing the floor away. We want to make sure that our butt isn't dropping down towards the mat here. You want to really imagine that cat of the spine. So we press the mat away, tuck the pelvis forward, keep drawing that belly button in. Let's find one more big long breath. Then we'll slowly start to keep the hands and feet where they are. Just press the hips straight back, coming into that Ardha Mukha, our first downward dog of class. Spread the fingers wide. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. And you can pedal out the feet here. Tuck your chin in towards your chest so the crown of the head reaches down towards the floor. Big breath in as we press the hips up and back. Exhale as we let those heels keep melting down towards the mat. Taking whatever little movement feels good for you and your body here, maybe rocking side to side, pedaling out the feet, shaking the head yes and no. One more big breath. Really breathing into the backs of those legs. 
And on your next inhale, we're gonna bend through the knees, take a look at the hands, slowly walk one foot at a time up towards the top of the mat. Feet are gonna be hip distance apart as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you bend the knees and fold forward, Uttanasana. One more breath here. Keep tucking your chin in towards your chest. Feel that length on the cervical spine. Now we'll inhale, rise up halfway. We're gonna draw our peace fingers towards those big toes. So legs can be straight here, or we can have a nice soft bend, your choice. If it's a little difficult to reach down towards the floor, we just bend those knees. So we're gonna take our peace fingers. So that's your pointer finger and your middle finger. They're gonna wrap underneath the big toes and your thumbs are gonna to come towards the toenail. Then we'll inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale as you tuck your chin towards your chest. Keep your eyes open as you fold forward. So chest is coming down towards the thighs, nose is coming down towards those knees, and our elbows are opening out to either side as we use our biceps to keep pulling ourselves deeper. Chin is tucking in towards the chest the entire time. Big inhale. Exhale, fold a little deeper. We'll find one more breath after this. Padagustasana. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up halfway. Release your grasp with the hands. Hands are just going to come right in front of the feet. Now we're going to start to lift the feet up one at a time. Slide your hands underneath. So the top of the hand comes down towards the mat. We're stepping onto the palms. Your toes are going to come in towards the wrist crease. We're coming into that gorilla pose or that padahastasana. So again, nice soft bend of the knees here if you need. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale as you melt your chest down towards the thighs. Chin comes in towards the chest and your gaze is in towards your kneecaps. We're really going to press onto the palms of the hands. Really press into that wrist crease. So you can fold a little deeper. Feel the stretch of the legs start to shift. I really feel this behind my kneecaps. It might be a little different for everyone, but you should feel a really deep stretch from the first variations that we've done. Big inhale through the nose. One more big long breath. Really start to warm up the backs of those legs, ladies. Inhale as you rise up halfway. Slide the hands out from underneath the feet. Bend through the knees, relax your chest down, and then inhale, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Head will be that last thing to rise. Moving nice and slow, coming all the way up to standing. Draw your hands towards your hips. We're gonna take a step back, a half step back with that left foot. So my right toes are facing the top of the mat, left foot's at that slight angle. Hips are squaring to the front two corners of the mat. Inhale as you reach all 10 fingers up to the sky. Exhale as you start to melt forward over that right leg, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee, coming into that pyramid pose. And now once we're here, we, oftentimes a lot of us like to let that left hip open out to the side. You wanna really try to draw that left hip forward so both hips stay in line with one another and we get a deeper stretch on the back of that right thigh. One more breath in this pyramid pose. Now on your next inhalation, start to lengthen halfway lift. That left hand's gonna drop down underneath the shoulder, should be right in line with that right foot. And then inhale, peel those right fingertips up to the sky to take our twist. So gaze is lifted, shoulders are stacked. If this is a little too intense, you can always just stay in that pyramid pose. This right hand can come towards the back of the hip. Or if you're feeling really spicy, you want to take that full bind variation. One more breath here. Big inhale, lengthen out just a little bit longer. And exhale, slowly start to release. That right hand is going to come back down towards the floor. Now from here, take a big bend through that right knee. Slide the left foot all the way back towards the back of the mat. Right knee is stacking right on top of the ankle. We're going to pause here for a moment, coming into that high crescent lunge. Draw the belly in, press the hips forward. And now we'll drop the knee all the way down towards the mat, untuck those toes. Right knee continues to stay stacked on the top of the right ankle. We'll inhale, start to lift the chest, lift the hips, reach the fingers up to the sky. And now we want to press the pelvis forward. 
Make sure those shoulders are relaxing away from the ears so we're feeling that really big stretch through that left hip flexor. And now if you've taken my class, you've probably heard me say this, in our low crescent, or in any lunge, we wanna make sure we have a posterior tilt of the pelvis. So the posterior tilt is where that pelvis or belly is drawing in and we're pressing the pelvis forward. An anterior tilt is where we're kind of dropping the hips back and our booty is sticking back behind us. We really wanna reverse that Draw the belly in and slide those hips forward. You're gonna feel that deeper lengthen through the left side. Let's find one more big breath in this low crescent lunge. Beautiful, slowly start to hinge forward, release the hands down, frame the front foot as you send the hips back, lengthen that right leg long, toes flex back towards your face. Big inhale, lengthen. Exhale as you melt the chest onto that right thigh, coming into that runner stretch, maybe taking a gentle rock of the foot side to side. On your next inhalation, slowly start to shift forward, left hand grounds down, reach the right fingertips up to take our twist. Gaze is lifted, shoulders are stacked, draw your belly in, one more big inhalation. And exhale, let that right hand fall, framing that front foot. Right, right knee stays stacked on top of the ankle. Tuck through the back toes as we inhale. Lift the hips back up, coming into that low cre high crescent lunge. Left hand is going to stay grounded down as we inhale. Peel those right fingertips up to the sky. Shift your gaze to find your twist on your high lunge. So back heel stays lifted. Maybe even press that back heel towards the back of the room. Let's find one more big breath. Inhale, reach a little bit longer. <sighs> Beautiful. Now we're going to stay here. Inhale, lengthen those fingertips out just a little bit higher up to the sky. And as we exhale, we're going to start to let that right knee fall out to the side. So I'm rolling onto the outer right edge of my foot. My arch is lifting up towards my face. I'm going to start to roll onto the outside edge of my back foot. My hips are going to drop down low as I reach those right fingertips towards that back right foot. Or excuse me, back left foot. So really big hip and IT band stretch. Let's find one more breath. Then inhale, slowly start to lift back up. That right hand's gonna drop back down towards the floor. Draw your belly in. And then inhale, reach all 10 fingers up to the sky. Drop the hips nice and low. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Coming into that high crescent lunge. Beautiful, Pre keep pressing the pelvis forward. Getting that engagement through the pelvis and hips. One more big breath. And exhale, frame that front foot with both hands. Step back to your high plank. And then option two, vinyasa. Or you can just press the hips straight back, coming into our downward facing dog. So your choice. If you're choosing to vinyasa, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> inhale, rise, halfway lift. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. You can pedal out the feet. Shake the head, yes and no. Use this time to reconnect to your breath. Use this time to reconnect to your awareness, your intention for your practice. Drawing our shoulders away from the ears to create space in the collarbones. One more long breath here. Now on your next inhale, bend the knees, take a look at the hands, walk one foot at a time up towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe see if this time we can go a little deeper. This time we can use straight legs. Then on your next inhalation, bend through the knees. Slow roll all the way up, one vertebra at a time. That's going to be the last thing to rise. Beautiful. Once we're up to standing, Let's interlace those fingers and plant the hands behind the back of the head. Elbows are going to be out wide. We're going to do a couple of those little roll downs to really lengthen through the back of the spine. So inhale as you start to arch the back, <clears throat> lift the gaze, elbows go out wide. Feet are still hip distance apart. Exhale as we start to tuck our chin towards our chest. And using your entire exhale breath, we're going to slow roll all the way down. Then once your chest meets your thighs, inhale, slow roll all the way back up. 
So the entire time we have a nice up bend in those knees and you're using your entire breath to do these movements. So inhale, open back up, arch the back, lift the gaze. Exhale your chins towards your chest and then you follow that the entire way down. So I'm really feeling this in my spine and those paraspinal muscles, the muscles that run all the way alongside your spine up the back. Hopefully you are too. We'll do one more. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, slow roll it all the way back down. Making sure we're never locking out those knees. We have that nice soft bend the entire time. Beautiful. Once we come all the way back to standing, release your arms down, shake it out. All right, draw your hands to your hips. This time we're gonna take a half step back with that right foot. Right foot grounds down, left toes face the top of the mat, that right foot's at that slight angle. Hips are squaring to the front, two corners of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you hinge and fold forward, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee, coming into that pyramid pose. And once here, really focus on drawing that right hip forward so our hips are square and in line with one another. One more breath, pyramid. Now inhale, start to rise up halfway. Right hand's gonna ground down underneath the shoulder and then inhale, peel those left fingertips up to the sky to find your twist. Notice how this side feels compared to the first one. This side's a lot tighter for me, so I always feel my hips start to shift. And then whenever that happens, I wanna remind myself to draw that left hip back, draw the right hip forward so they stay in line. Let's find one more breath in our twist and Trikonasana. Beautiful, let that left hand fall back down towards the floor. Big bend through that left knee as we slide the right foot all the way towards the back of the mat. And we're just pausing here for a moment, start to feel that engagement, feel the hips start to drop and open, feel the belly start to draw into the thigh. We're just setting up that, mod or that alignment in our high lunge. Now from here, slowly release that right leg all the way down towards the mat. Untuck those toes, left knee stacks right on top of the ankle. As we inhale, peel all 10 fingers up to the sky. Re-tuck through those hips, draw the belly and press the pelvis forward so we get that deeper stretch through your right hip flexor. So we never wanna cheat ourselves. We always wanna make sure we're reaching our edge in every single pose while also maintaining proper and safe alignment in each posture. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Keep drawing the belly in. Two more breaths. Last time. Slowly release the hands down. Lengthen the left leg out long as you send the hips back. Chest comes down to the thigh, nose to the knee, coming into that runner stretch. Maybe rocking mats foot side to side. Big breath in. Beautiful, on your next inhale, slowly shift forward back to that low crescent lunge. Right hand's gonna ground down as we inhale, peel those left fingertips up to the sky and shift our gaze. Find one more breath. Beautiful, from here, tuck those back toes as we inhale, lift the hips. Keep reaching those left fingertips up to the sky to find that high crescent lunge twist. Shoulders are stacked, belly draws in. One more big breath, inhale. And beautiful, as we exhale, start to roll onto the outside edge of that left foot. Knee falls out to the side. We're gonna roll onto the outside edge of that right foot. Drop the hips low as we reach those left fingertips back towards that back foot. Really big stretch through that right or left IT band and left hip. One more breath here. <sighs> Inhale as you start to rise, lift the hips back up. Drop that hand back down as we frame that front foot. Keep those back heel lifted and then inhale, peel all 10 fingers up to the sky to find that high crescent lunge. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Keep the gaze lifted. 
Keep pressing the hips forward for that posterior tilt. Big inhale through the nose. Beautiful. From here, slowly start to hinge forward. Frame that front foot with both hands. Tuck the back toes. And inhale, sweep that left leg all the way up to the sky for a three-legged down dog. Now you can point and flex through the foot. Maybe even circle out that ankle a little bit. We want to keep both hips squaring down towards the floor. And find one more big breath. Beautiful. Inhale, lift that left leg a little bit higher. As you exhale, use your core. Draw your thigh in towards your chest. Round the spine, nose to your knee. Inhale, send it back up to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw your thigh in towards your chest, nose to your knee. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it back in. Now from here, we're going to keep using your core to step the left foot through to the hands. Back heel drops down. Cartwheel the arms up and open to T and find your warrior two. Your gaze is over that left middle finger. Shoulders stay relaxed away from the ears. Left knee is stacking right on top of the ankle. One more big breath. Now on your next inhale, reach forward, flip the palm. Exhale, find your reverse. Gaze is lifted. Back hand is just resting on the back of that leg. Now on your next inhalation, stay in the reverse of the arm, straighten that front leg. See if you can take this a little bit deeper. Beautiful, on your next inhale, rise back up to arms at T, both legs are straight. We're gonna inhale, reach forward, and then exhale, drop down into our triangle pose, our trikonasana. Shoulders are stacked, gaze is lifting up towards that top hand. Feel that stretch on the inside of that left thigh. One last breath here. Beautiful. On your next inhale, look down. As we exhale, you're going to bend through that left leg. Left hand's going to come down towards the floor. Reach those right fingertips up and over for that long side body stretch. So left hand's just right in front of that left foot. Left shoulder is stacking. Feel that big stretch from our right um, ankle all the way towards those right fingertips. Now on your next inhale, use your core to slowly rise all the way back up to that warrior two. Virabhadrasana B, arms are at T. Now we're gonna straighten that front leg. Turn your right toes out slightly. Hands are gonna come towards heart center. Start to bend through that right leg. As we drop the hips low, lengthen the left leg out long, coming into that side lunge. So our right heel can stay grounded. The right heel can be lifted. I always reach my arms out in front of me. It feels the most natural. But if something else feels better for you, then you can take that. And we're just gonna pause here and breathe. Feel that stretch on the inner left thigh. Feel the hips start to open. Releasing any tension, releasing any stress, any built up stagnancy that we may be holding on to here. <sighs> Beautiful, now from here, we're just gonna plop the hips straight back down towards the floor. So our right knee is still pointing up to the sky, left leg's out long. All you do is shift from the slow lunge and just drop your butt down on the mat. So once we're here, you may have to adjust a little bit and that's okay. So once we're here, we have that right foot opened out to the side slightly. Left toes are flexed and pointing straight up to the sky. We're gonna take that left hand, grab onto the right ankle. Inhale as you reach those right fingertips up, lengthen your spine nice and long. Exhale as you start to fold over towards that left side. So our left side comes down towards the left thigh. Grab hold of that left foot with your right hand if you can. So we have a little bit of like a counter stretch. You're really using that left arm to pull onto the right ankle and using that right arm to either pull down or reach towards those opposite toes. <sighs> Lots of things happening in this posture. Just try to breathe into it, maybe even close the eyes. <sighs> One more big breath. Now as you inhale, slowly start to rise on up. Then from here, we're just gonna start to sweep that right leg forward and around. So we're gonna face towards the top of the mat. 
Legs are going to stretch out long. Walk the flesh out from underneath your sits bones. Feet are going to be about hip distance apart. Toes stay flat. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you fold forward. Chest to the thighs, nose to the knees. And we want our chin to stay tucked in towards our chest the entire time. You're going to feel the stretch shift into that cervical spine. And if you're like me, my neck is pretty tight all the time. So hopefully you guys can feel that a little bit. So really draw that chin in towards the chest. We're going to take one more breath. Beautiful. Inhale, slow roll all the way up. And then we're going to draw our legs together. Plant the hands behind the hips. Fingertips are going to point in. Then let's bend through the knees. Feet are going to be about hip distance apart. And then on your next inhale, press into the hands and feet. We're going to lift the hips straight up, coming into that reverse tabletop. You can either keep your chin tucked in towards your chest, or if it feels good, you can let the head hang all the way back behind you. Your choice, it feels better for me to keep my chin in towards my chest, so I'm going to do that. But you want to keep pressing into the hands and the feet, lift the hips up, squeeze through the glutes to find this lift. Keep drawing your belly in, one more big breath. Beautiful, slow lower all the way down. Once the hips start to meet the mat, wrap the arms around the fronts of the shins, draw your forehead in towards your knees to find that little hug. You can maybe gently rock side to side. Or just stay in stillness. Using this time to redraw your focus inward, reconnect to your breath, reconnect to whatever it is that's arising for you. So reconnecting to an attention, reconnecting to that awareness, that focus, releasing your thoughts lovingly as we slowly start to rise on up. And we're going to spin those legs around, come on to our hands and knees, shifting into our tabletop position. Shoulders will stack and hips will stack. Once we're there, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, throat, and gaze for cow. Exhale as you press the mat away and find your cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Let's find two more rounds, really following your breath here, feeling that posterior and anterior tilt of the pelvis that I've been talking about. So anterior tilt of the pelvis in our cat. And then we have that posterior tilt of the pelvis. Oops, excuse me. Anterior tilt of the pelvis in our cow. Posterior tilt of the pelvis in our cat. <sighs> On your next inhalation, come back to that neutral spine. Tuck the toes under as you inhale. Lift the hips straight up, coming into that downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet or shake the head yes and no. And then we're going to walk our hands back about one to two steps. So we're shortening our down dog, shortening that upside down V. Keep tucking your chin towards your chest as you start to shift your weight into that right hand. Reach the left hand for the outside of the right ankle, calf, or thigh. Wherever you can grab, wherever feels the best here. Then we're going to use that left hand to pull yourself through. Gaze is going to shift under that right armpit. So taking a twist in our Ardha Mukha. One last breath. Beautiful. Inhale, shift back to that shortened down dog. And exhale, switch sides. Right hand reaches for the left ankle or calf. Draw yourself through. Gaze shifts under that left armpit. One more breath. Inhale, find your way back to center. As we exhale, walk the hands all the way back towards the feet. Big bend through those knees as you inhale, slow roll all the way up, one vertebra at a time. So now we're at the back of our mat. Hands are going to come towards the hips. And from here, we're going to start to shift our weight into that left foot. Draw your right foot to either the inside of the calf, the inside of the thigh, or if that full lotus variation is in your practice, then you can take that as well. We're coming into our tree pose. Hands can stay at the hips. You can bring your hands to heart center, or you can reach your arms up to the sky. We want to find that drishti point, your point of focus to help you balance. Keep drawing the belly in, pressing the hips forward, and we're going to hang out here for a few breaths. 
So if you fall out of it, just find your way right back into it. If this is too easy for you, maybe close your eyes for a little bit more of a challenge. Beautiful, one last breath. Mm, feeling strong, stable, and grounded like a tree. Now from here, slowly start to bring your hands back towards your hips. Start to release your leg. We're gonna inhale, lengthen it out in front of us, flex through the toes, feel that quad engage, and then slowly start to release, shake it on out. And then we're gonna switch sides, shift your weight into that right leg. Left leg comes either to that little kickstand, the inside of the calf, the inside of the thigh, or that full lotus variation if that's in your practice. Hands can stay at the hips, heart center, or reach the arms up to the sky. Big inhales and exhales. Keep pressing the hips forward. Maybe close the eyes. And if you haven't tried closing your eyes, you should try it just for fun because it really does make it a lot more challenging. One last breath here. Beautiful, draw the hands back to the hips. Start to release out of this as we inhale, lengthen the left leg out long in front of us, flex the toes, engage through that quad, and then slowly relax it all the way down. You can shake it out. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend through the knees, soft fold forward, chest to your thighs, nose to the knees. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale as you plant the hands down, slowly walk yourself forward, coming into that high plank. Shoulders are stacking. Inhale, rock forward, belly draws in. Exhale, hug elbows and lower down 90 degrees. Inhale, rise. Cobra, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale as you press the hips up and back. Coming into that downward facing dog, you can pedal out the feet. Now slide your feet side by side. Inhale, reach that right leg all the way up to the sky for a three-legged down dog. Start to send your breath, send your focus to the back of that left leg. Maybe point and flex through the right foot or circle out that ankle. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen just a little bit higher, a little bit longer and taller. Exhale as you draw that thigh in towards your chest, nose in towards your knees. So really big cat rounding of the spine here. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, draw it through. Use your belly. One more time. Inhale, press it on back. Exhale, draw it back in. Nice. From here, slowly use your core. Step the right foot through to the hands. Back heel drops. Cartwheel the arms up and open the T to find your warrior two. Gaze is over that right middle finger. Right knee is stacking right on top of the ankle. Vira Vajrasana B. Shoulders relax away from the ears. And each exhale is an opportunity to take this just a little bit deeper. On your next breath, flip the front palm, reach forward, exhale all the way back for a reverse. Now from here, you can stay and just start to straighten that front leg. See if you can take this just a little bit deeper, really breathing into that front side of the body. Use your core to inhale, rise on up to the standing position. Arms are out of T as we inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop down into that triangle pose. Shoulders will stack, gazers lifted. Breathe into that right inner thigh. Beautiful, from here, shift your gaze down towards the floor. Start to bend through that right leg. Right hand's gonna ground down to the inside of the right foot as you peel those left fingertips towards the top of the mat. Biceps coming in towards the ear. Palm is face down, big long side stretch from left foot towards left fingertips. Now from here, shift your gaze down. Inhale, use that core to lift yourself straight up to T. We're gonna straighten that front leg. Bring your hands towards your hips. Left toes are gonna to turn and face out towards that outer left corner of the mat. Now we're gonna to start to bend through that left knee, drop the hips down low as those right toes flex back towards our face. Hands can be either in prayer, 
out in front of you, or we can just keep the hands down on the mat. We're going to breathe into this side lunge here. Beautiful long breath. Big inhales through the nose. Big exhales. Let's find one more breath here. And slowly as you exhale, drop the hips down. So your booty is just kind of dropping down towards the mat. Left knee is pointing up to the sky. Right leg is out long, toes flex back towards your face. Take that right hand, grab hold of the left ankle. Inhale, reach those left fingertips up. And as you exhale, hinge and fold over towards that right side, grabbing hold of the right foot with the left hand if you can. So a little bit of a counter stretch. You should be using both arms to pull yourself in opposite directions. So a lot of things are happening, a lot of engagement. Really big stretch. <sighs> Breathe into the spaces that we're feeling this stretch. <sighs> Two more breaths. Last inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale as you slowly rise on up. <sighs> All right, from here. Our right hand's gonna come to the outside of that right leg. Left hand's gonna come to the inside. We're slowly gonna start to bend through that right knee as you start to shift yourself forward. As you do so, because this left leg is lifted, you're just gonna shift forward. That left leg's gonna drop down towards the mat. We're coming into our deer pose. I'm gonna turn and face you guys just so you can see what I'm doing. So it should have looked something like this. You just kind of shift forward, right knee bends, left knee drops. So we're coming into that deer. Ideally, you want your legs to be at 90 degrees, but if that's unavailable for us right now, you can hug the feet in a little bit closer. This is gonna make this a little bit more passive. So we're gonna inhale, really press into the hands, lengthen the spine nice and long. As you exhale, twist towards that right side. And then we're just gonna stay here. So we wanna really focus. I draw my left hand towards my right knee, right hand is back behind me underneath the shoulder. And I use that inhale to lengthen my spine. And I use my exhale to keep twisting until I feel that stretch in my left hip flexor and my left psoas muscle. And then we're just going to pause. I don't want you guys to melt down to the floor just yet. I want you to really start to feel that stretch through that left side. Breathing into it, sending your breath there. And now that we've started to create that body-mind awareness, we've started to find that space and draw our focus there. Now that we have that stretch through that left side, now you can maybe start to relax down towards the floor. And maybe you do that with straight arms and you just walk yourself out a little bit. Maybe you have the space to come all the way down towards the mat, coming onto your forearms and elbows. If so, you can take that now but make sure you do not lose that engagement or you don't lose that stretch through that left side. So we always wanna maintain the integrity of each posture and we always wanna reach our edge, but you wanna make sure that you don't start to lose that alignment when you do so. So for me, this is where I'm at today. I can't go any deeper. I don't really wanna go any deeper. This feels good. I feel like I'm getting a really nice stretch through that left side. And now my only practice is to focus my breath there, sending my big inhales to that left hip. And exhales. Let's find one more breath here. Beautiful, inhale, slowly start to rise up. We're gonna shift our weight onto that right side Lengthen the left leg out long to the side. Shift your weight onto that left hip as we lengthen the right leg out long to the side. So we're transitioning into that straddle. Now really try to press the hips forward so the legs open up nice and wide. Flex the toes back towards the face. Big inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale as the hands start to come down towards the floor. You can either just fold straight out or you can start to walk yourself out really nice and slow, being very mindful of your positioning, of the stretch. And just take yourself as deep as you can possibly go, but take yourself to your edge. 
and continuing to flex those toes back towards the face. So we keep those legs super active and engaged the entire time. Allow yourself to melt here. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Find just a few more breath in this straddle position. And let's find one more really deep inhale and exhale. On your next breath in, slowly start to walk yourself up. Now we're going to shift our weight onto that right hip. So we can bend that left knee in. Shift your weight onto that left side so we can just sweep that right leg back and around as we transition into that deer on the other side. So really important in this posture, and I didn't really stress it enough on the side before, we wanna make sure that both hips are grounded down towards the floor. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but when I first transitioned into this, my right hip is kind of lifted, and then I just press it down towards the mat. So my both hips are equal and in line with one another. Now from here, inhale, really press into the earth, lengthen your spine long. And as you exhale, we're gonna twist over the left side. So I just bring my hand to my uh, left knee, bring that left arm back behind you. Inhale, keep lengthening the spine. And exhale, continue to twist over that left shoulder. So start to find that mind-body awareness, start to find that stretch through that right side. And this side might be a little bit different. This side's a lot more open for me, so I'm able to twist a lot deeper before I even feel anything. Maybe that's the same sort of situation for you. Maybe it's a little bit different on this side. But we're just trying to settle in here, find that stretch before we start to melt into it. One more breath. Really draw all your awareness there. And then if you're ready, maybe you can start to melt down a little bit deeper. Knowing that again, this side can be totally different than the one before. And we're just honoring that. We're not passing any judgment. Hmm. Not holding on to any expectations. Letting your body tell you what it's ready to do and not do. We're going to find about three more breaths in this deer pose. One more big, long breath. And on your next inhale, slowly begin to press yourself up. You're going to rock your weight onto that left side so that we can just sweep the right leg forward. Rock your weight onto that right side. Stretch the left leg out long to meet. Plant your hands behind your hips. Just shake it out or sway it out. All right. I'm going to turn it face towards the top of my mat so we're all the same. So feet are going to be about hip distance apart. Walk the flesh out from underneath those sit bones. Toes flex back towards your face. Big inhale as we reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Start rolling yourself down. Chest is going to come down towards the thighs. Nose is going to come down towards the knees. Grab onto the outside edges of the feet. Use your arms to pull yourself to a deeper variation of your Paschimottanasana. One more breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Slide the legs together, point through those toes. Big breath and reach the arms up. Exhale as you melt forward. Chest to your thighs, nose to your knees. Really point through those toes. If your hands can reach the feet, draw your hands there and then just kind of assist in pointing the toes down towards the floor. 
really big stretch through the tops of the feet. We don't really get this too often in yoga because a lot of the postures we keep our feet flexed. So I like to switch things up and really get onto the tops of the feet and ankles as well. One more breath here. <sighs> Inhale, slow roll all the way up, release it out, shake it out or sway it out. And we're going to keep this right leg out long, bend through the left leg, bottom of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Flex those right toes back towards the fade as, as you inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale as you fold forward, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Allow yourself to just melt forward. Start to slow the body down. Check back in with that right foot. Make sure those toes are still flexing hard back towards your face for one more breath. Inhale as you slowly start to rise up. Left leg's gonna lengthen out long. Right leg is going to bend, bottom of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Left toes are flexing back towards your face. So as we inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee. Allow yourself to really melt here. Allow the shoulders to relax, the spine to relax. Inhale, we're going to slow rise all the way up. Lengthen that right leg out long. Shake it out or sway it out. And then we scoot ourselves up. So our feet come towards the top of the mat. Your seat's going to come towards the bottom of the mat. Bend through the knees. Grab onto the backs of the thighs and slow roll all the way down as we hug our thighs in towards our chest. Give yourself a hug. Maybe adding that gentle little rock side to side on the spine. And then let's reach down, grab onto the outsides of the feet, knees and towards the armpits as you find that happy baby position. Maybe adding a gentle rock side to side. towards the chest, give yourself a big hug, maybe taking little circles, find that little rock. All right, now let's place the feet down. Feet are going to be about hip distance apart. Arms down by your side as you inhale, lengthen the right leg up to the sky. Exhale as you bend through the knee, ankle connects towards that left thigh. Flexing through the right toes, press the knee forward, and then let that left foot float up off the mat so we can grab hold of the back of the thigh. Keep flexing through those right toes and hug both legs in towards your chest for our figure four position. Shoulders relax away from the ears. And allow that left foot to relax as well. So that right leg is right foot is flexing the entire time. Left foot can just kind of be neutral. Sometimes I like to take little gentle circles. And we're breathing into that right hip, that right IT band. And allowing each exhale to take you just a little bit deeper into the pose. One more breath. Slowly start to release your hands. That left foot's going to float back down towards the mat. Open your arms out to your T. 
Keep that right ankle connected over the left knee and then let the legs fall over towards the left side. So right knee is pointing up to the sky and then shift your gaze over that right shoulder to find our spinal twist. Using this time to really slow down, to really tap back into the breath. And to reconnect to your practice and reconnect to your mat. So feeling fully supported here by the earth, by our mat, by our practice. And feeling like we're being held. Held in all aspects. Mm. Feeling held and supported by each other, by each posture. And most importantly, by our breath, as our breath continues to walk with us every day through every experience. And let's find one more long inhale. And exhale here. As we slowly start to float the legs back to center. You're going to uncross that right leg, plant it back down on the floor. And then switching sides. Inhale as you lengthen that left leg out long. Bend through the knee, cross it over. Left ankle connects towards the right thigh. Flex through those left toes, point the knee forward, and then let the right foot float up off the mat. Grab onto the back of the thigh, and then use your arms, use your breath to hug the legs in just a little bit closer each time. We'll be here for a little bit of time. Allow your breath to soften and grow a little bit longer. Maybe even close through the eyes so you can really draw your awareness inwards. Making each inhale a little bit longer than the one before and letting each exhale be even longer than each inhale. gentle rock side to side if you're like me and that feels good for you but then we're slowly going to release let that right foot plant back down towards the earth as you open your arms out to that T keep the legs how they are so they can just fall straight over towards that right side and then shift your gaze over that left shoulder once you get there Finding that spinal twist. Two more breaths on this side. slowly start to let the knees float back to center. We're going to uncross that left leg, plant it back down on the floor. Spread your feet about mat distance apart and we'll just windshield wiper those legs side to side. And then you can hug the thighs in towards the chest. Give yourself a big old hug, really draw those legs in, maybe add that rock side to side. 
or that circle of the hips. Whenever you're ready, reach down, grab onto the outsides of the feet. Find your last happy baby. See if you can pull the knees down just a little bit deeper. And we'll slowly start to hug the legs back in towards the chest. And begin to find your most comfortable variation of your final rest of your Shavasana. So legs can be stretched out long, knees can be bent, pointing up to the sky. You can also come into that butterfly position of the legs, which is what I think I'm going to take right now. So finding your most comfortable variation of your final resting pose. Once you soften in, start to roll the shoulders underneath you just by lifting the chest. Feel the shoulders draw away from the ears, arms open out by your sides, palms are face up or palms are face down. Close your eyes and begin to release here. Releasing any pent up tension or pent up stress that we may be holding on to. Just letting everything go as you melt down towards the earth. There is nothing to do here. There is nothing to change. And there is nothing to fix. All you have to do is rest and I'll let you know when it's time to rise.
Maybe you start by wiggling the fingers and toes. Maybe you progress into a circling the wrists and ankles. And if it feels good for you, you can stretch the arms and feet out long for a long body stretch as if you just woke up in the morning. Pointing your fingers and toes in that position, maybe even finding a slight arch of the back as you take one more little sip of air. And then slowly start to roll on to your favorite side. Resting on your arm as a pillow in fetal position. Eyes are still closed. Body is heavy. Breath is soft. And using the strength of your arms, begin to push yourself up to a comfortable seat. We'll face towards the top of the mat. Bringing our hands to our heart center, sitting up nice and tall, softening through the eyes. Once we're here, we'll find one final round of breath together. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Pausing at the top for one more little sip of air. And exhale, sigh it out, make a noise. <sighs> Thank you to each and every one of you for joining me today and sharing your light, your presence, your power, and your practice. I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are. And from the honey of my heart to each of yours, Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Namaste.